Hello everybody, this tutorial is about comparing two different CAD models and PC images in case there is a design change between a release number one and release number two. First step is to import the CAD models. If you have already imported uh, release number one, uh, you can go to import step and uh, import uh, release number two. What's very important uh, is to select yes to merge the data with existing data. So press yes. Uh, I've already imported release number two, so uh, in assembly I will see two times imported release, but I only wanted to show you that you have to press yes. Now I can go and delete uh, the second uh, release. So how to compare them? On the first view you can see there are some changes. First change maybe will be this uh, the uh, surfaces there is a difference as you can see there's uh, the mountains or the tops of these uh, hills are a little bit uh, lower now in the first view you can see there is a change in the radius maybe the number of holes and uh, again overall the dimensions of the part uh, the first step what to do is to transform coordinate system we want to have the same origins now the origins origin of part 2 is somewhere in this cone and the origin of part uh, 1 is in this uh, cylinder so uh, go to get assembly if you do not have shortcut here you can go by edit graphic display window and get assembly uh, so uh, we will use the part release number one as a reference so so we will shift with origin only uh, with uh, part two we want to get it to the cylinder on the left so go right click on release number two transform press select and click on the cylinder ok and apply now the parts are aligned if you have a more complicated coordinate system uh, you need rotation and uh, more complicated adjustment so uh, check the video uh, below and uh, this will show you how to transform a coordinate system with in more complicated cases but now uh, let's assume we have aligned the part uh, now it is much more easier easier to see the differences so i can click between uh, release one and release two and i can easily see some changes uh, it will be much more easier to see the differences if you change the color of the models so uh, i'm going to change color of uh, release one i will set it to let's say green one so uh, go to cat colors select uh, the model press change color choose the color it's maybe green i apply it is green okay now again go to assembly select release number two go to colors change color select select red apply okay now if we activate the views of the two CAD models, it is a little bit easier to see uh, the, the differences. So there is a change in the corner, uh, but still we can say it's maybe confusing because uh, the color is not clear because uh, it's overlaying somehow. What we can do is to go to a view setup and change the view into wireframe. I say apply and now it is much more clear where the changes are. So if you can see there is a radius change, there is always, there is also spline change and there is a different number of, of holes, there is a different shape of cone and uh, the part is a little shorter than it was. There is also a change in diameters and the side holes. 
Uh, what we won't see in wireframe is another surfaces or the surface change. So go back to solid and now we'll investigate the difference between surface, uh, green surface or a red surface. I think the very useful tool in PCDMS is our clip planes. So uh, you can go to clip planes bar this shortcut or again edit graphic display window and clip planes. This function is very useful. Uh, you can see through the model. If you enable it, it will give you a section cut uh, in exact position. There is 85 in Y axis. We can change it to 8, 80, go to apply. You can shift it by exact step. You can change, uh, or you can flip the vector of it. So uh, if you are new to clay planes, you can uh, try some options. After you uh, click on the model, it will automatically get the nominal vector and change the direction of the uh, cutting plane or clay plane. So I can choose this side, a side plane or the front plane. I will choose uh, the front plane, change uh, the direction of the cut and I will shift the origin into my surface I want to check. So after uh, you press apply, uh, you, uh, the create section cut curve is now activated. So it can be useful. I will press create and now if you uh, go or first we can create another section can be useful you can go here and create something like this it is now much more uh, clear where the changes are so this stripes two stripes you can compare and see okay I have differences here I can uh, improve or just change my program to uh, get the changes up to know where the changes are. So uh, this is also a fine way how to see <laughs> where is where is uh, the difference. But uh, what we want to do is to get the exact value. So how much uh, there is a difference. Uh, I will show you that on surfaces. So I will disable for now, I will disable these two sections and what we want to do is create some points which we can compare. Go to uh, get assembly, we will work for now with release number two, go press OK. So now I will create, uh, can be two points on the uh, release number two. This is release number two. Uh, you can create auto feature vector point. After pressing Ctrl Shift, the point should snap into the section cut curve. And now you can go and create the point. The same point uh, we can create in this place and create. So now we have two points and we want to know uh, what is this distance. How to do this? Uh, I will take a note that point one is for release number two and the same here, release number two. Now, go to get assembly. Say I want to activate uh, cat from uh, release number one. Just select it, copy, and paste, and say this is for release number one. This is for release number one. After pressing F9 button, you go to options. Now you can see the nominal or vector 
which is rated to release number two and intersect uh, our uh, reference release number one at this point. So what you can do is to get find nearest cat element. It is uh, not exactly on our section cat curve. So uh, what we can do is to press again F9, select to keep Z axis the same and now find nearest cat element. It will automatically uh, set the nearest get but the Z only in Z axis. We can go to OK and the same for uh, point release number one. Uh, again select Z, find nearest get element, it will snap uh, or it will find the nearest get element in uh, Z axis, in the direction of Z axis. If you don't want to uh, do this, you can of course uh, select, uh, I want to say, the find nearest get element in Y axis. It will say, it will keep the same level of uh, Z axis and find only in Y axis. Uh, it's quite useful tool in PCDMIS, but for now we want to say only uh, difference in Z axis. Okay and now easily uh, evaluate the difference. We have three dimensional and now uh, you know the exact differences. If you want to know the difference in more points you can add as many as you want. It's not so complicated. So uh, this is the way how to do this. Uh, if you find this video useful please subscribe and I hope uh, we will uh, see each, each other in the uh, next few videos I'm preparing. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.